Hello and welcome to another live stream and apparently my controller disconnected. Is the battery dead? I think the battery's dead. Maybe? No, I just decided to turn itself off. Anyway. Um, so before I uh, start the stream, um, I just want to say uh, real quick um, why I'm doing this as a stream and not as a video just we got some question about Banjo and Kazooie. Well the thing is if I make a video if you make a video on YouTube because you know there's um editing and all that there's sort of like a um higher standard for a video where for a live stream there's not really as high of a standard because you know there's not as much stuff you can do in a live stream as a video. Um so there's that, and also all of my videos like this are sort of meant to be more of a discussion um, rather than me just stating facts that you should not uh, ever question. No, that you know, I'm I know that I'm wrong sometimes, and that, that my videos are usually set more as a discussion. And I think um, doing this as a live stream will. Um, you know, if anybody like comes on and talks, we'll make this more of a discussion because I can be like uh, gushing about my experience with the game, and then somebody who may have also grown up with the game could come in and talk about their experience with it, or somebody who didn't grow up with the game and only played it more recently. Um, you know, uh, and I just think that will make it for a make for a more entertaining experience. Um, so yeah. Let's get into it then, shall we? I believe... I could be wrong here, but I believe... That logo from the Nintendo 64 is correct. Um, we can't blame Rare too much because not a lot of people did get the logo correct. But, um, yeah. Growing up, the first console I had was Xbox, and one of those things I had all in the was Bad Wolf And I still have the coolest and it is near and dear to my heart. Like, if I had a penguin, every time I see the penguins, I would be a rich man, let me tell you. I play this a lot And yeah. So where do I where do I even start with this game? It's well it's developed by Rit. Here we go. Uh, it was developed by Rit, whatever. Um a British um, video game company uh, who at this time was not bought by Microsoft. Back in the golden world. Also, my controller won't stop vibrating. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, it stopped vibrating now. Now it's vibrating. It's weird. So you have these little um, game files you can select there's Banjo Sleeping, Banjo Cooking, and Banjo Playing a Game Boy. This is really cool. I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to use this one. Um, so yeah. Um, and really, I had a bit of a rough start in the game industry, but they really came to it into their own during the Nintendo 64 era uh, of video games. Um, and one of those games is by the top of my head. Uh, they put, oh yeah, and Diddy Kong Racing. Then uh, she's the nicest looking wench. Why is Grunty any day she really takes my breath away? Uh, cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. 
So we have a witch who who talks in lines. Uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tooty, young and small. She is the prettiest girl of them all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nice beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tooty. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. And really, it was good how to come up with those rhymes. I, I do like that. Why? I believe like there's a like people get dopamine from hearing rhymes. I can't remember what it is like, but there's a contingency part in your brain that is happy when you hear that. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Also, Glanko got to do this kind of job for the music. If Tutti thinks she's uh, fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and know the ugly she'll be. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pussy. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old head. Don't scratch and bite, my little girl. You'll soon be bigger and underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help! Banjo, wake up! Now! What do you want, Louie? Let's get outside, there's trouble. Let's make it double. Uh. I don't have the box and manual. Also, this controller won't stop vibrating, and I don't know why. Uh, unless I'm he here, so I think there's something. So I'm gonna use. My other controller that is wired and does not have a rumble motor in. Yeah, much better. This is all time bottles, the short to sighted mole. I'm Banjo, this year is my buddy Kazoo. Sure is a, a strange looking buddy, Banjo, but can it talk? Better than you can, Doggle, doggle Boy. What was all that noise about? So where is my sister? Tootie. The ugly witch from Tilda. Tootie down and put in the sky rabbit. Yep. Anyway, find out if you'll get back where you need to go. She's no turn on the layer. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Um. I think I have. Anyway, um, so back to question about to this game. Um, made by Rearware, who is a British, who is a British company who you know, uh, was very impactful during the Nintendo 64 era of games. Um, and uh, the one that I play, oh, I'm Banjo Tui, I forgot about Banjo Tui as well. Um, and the one I played uh, the most was obviously Banjo and Kazooie. 
Yeah, I got. Anyway, hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. Yeah, with the yellow C buttons. So they've not changed the tap R to move the camera. Uh, hold R to keep the camera behind you. So it doesn't look like they've actually changed the um, buttons because he said the C button. And the, yeah, so this is very faithful to the game. Yeah, I've heard about Project 06. Um, anyway, we're not here to talk about Project 06, we're only here to talk about Project 06. Um, Woo! Yeah, and, um, yeah. uh, I played a lot of this when I was uh, younger, and basically you, you've got uh, Banjo and Kazooie, yeah? Um, and Kazooie is uh, probably my uh, favorite, one of my favorite video game characters of all time. Um, because she, um, she is legitimately uh, pretty nice. I said we're ready to move on, not until you leave. And you know, she's impatient and she's really hard to fight her. Um, while we're in ridiculous glasses, I'm listening. I'm not listening. Hold the BZ and say. Anyway. Um, and this game. Was also very um, what's the word? Ah, I forgot the word. Very um, what was it? The red. Ah, I can't think of the word. Um, ambitious. It was very ambitious and very creative. Um, basically, like there was um, the stop and like the stop and swap. Um, uh, ah, quids. I can't think of quids. Right. The uh, stop and swap was a thing, and I think most people know about the stop and swap by you now. Um, basically, the idea was you play this game, you get um, these trinkets that um, you could transfer to ba Banjo Tui by. Um, um, swapping out the cartridges uh, fast enough because um, when the cartridges were loaded, there was a glitch where if you uh, swapped, um, where if you took, where when you took out the cartridge with the system still on, you would still remember some of the data. So the idea was that they would use that bug to then transfer that data into Banjo Tui. But there was a couple of problems with this. Firstly, Nintendo didn't really like the idea because um, it could lead to people damaging their systems. Um, and they could be like, what the cartridges if they like did it wrong, like if they were like doing it too fast and kind of like lacking the console. Um, and the second problem was um, that um, in later revisions on the Nintendo 64 hardware, um, that uh, time where the data would be preserved uh, was shortened to like less than a second, I think it was, or something like that. Basically making it impossible. Why do I keep pressing this? I didn't know how to solve this. Anyway. Um. And, um, yeah. Uh, it, it, was, like, it was a cool idea, and very, like, and very, 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 
obviously I should cause because you know the chain goes in a lot. It is a little change in the law. never like finish like um, implementing it or even like taking it out of the game code so you can still find like um, some of the scholars of items in that game. Um, but uh, they are too much useless. Um, but they did like um, put some of the uh, Star Point Swap items into Banjo Tooie. Luna, what are you eating? I gotta go check that, make sure she's not eating so much as she's doing. It's fine, thank you. Just like how they build. How about the thing with the power to um, destroy him because he has like some capital boxes and stuff like that. Destroy pump. Anyway, um, but that um, so something that uh, was really cool like, in the um, 360 versions uh, of the game uh, of Banjo and Kazooie, um, and in the way we play version, they restored uh, uh, the stop and swap functionality entirely. Um, which is which is really cool and probably. Like honestly, if you want to uh, play Banjo and Kazooie, I would say that the um, Xbox 360 or Rare Replay version of the games are definitely the definitive versions of the games because they have like quality of life changes and obviously um, uh, stop and swap. But you can't. This it's the authentic Banjo and Kazooie experience. So not like if, if you don't have an Xbox or Game Pass or anything, then having like uh, the Nintendo Online Expansion Pass and uh, just again, this is not a bad option either. Um, I forgot how you. Then press B. Okay. Um, yeah, I just love well, ZB. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jazz. I guess I get the other one later. On. Anyway, um, and some of the, the characters are just like really memorable, and um, it's just like it's just a lot of fun, and I just love it. It's like the skin. And also, balls. Um, while Kazooie does, um, uh, 
Right, well, because we just like um, take shots at the bottles. Um, also, it also isn't afraid to like um, take shots back at Louie either. Which I also like. So they have like a bit of back and forth. No. Running and pressing the button. Try a Rattatat. Press B in the mid air. And the final boss for this game is actually quite uh, challenging. I think it's probably the most challenging. I do think that. I do think that I don't do it. Um, but the boss was definitely difficult. Obviously we, we start to get off here in Spiral Mountain and then we go up into the uh, Witch's Layer yeah. and then you have like uh, multiple worlds uh, to explore and find notes and all that. And um, each world has, I believe each one has one uh, mumbo jumbo um, transformation and the, uh, you know, the same 100 notes, 5 jinjos and the um, kenjigis, I believe. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and a tutti old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your foot. Rescuing you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my ear. Hurry, Kongo, pull that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Miss Miss Bunty. Power is gone. Banjo! There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps will uh, see who wins. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a, a picture with a P is missing. Also, have I mentioned how cool fucking amazing the music is in this game? Is just some of the most catchy and uh, memorable music ever. Yeah, the music's a bit loud, so you're probably going to be a bit hard to hear me, so I'm going to turn that down. Probably a bit because I can barely hear it. There we go. Yep. That was such an easy fit. The others uh, may just test you a bit. Test your wit. It was a little bit. 
I wish I'd never asked. Bird brain can carry 100 eggs in their backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you're crouching the egg. Yeah, now you can't. The eggs here. 50 practice broken. And now we use the uh, eggs. That we <laughs> Um, 
Watch it, Torch Boy. Umbo's magic tokens hid the by which Bind tokens and Mumbo help you. Bind are not dying of tokens for Mumbo to do your best item. Nice, 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 So we need to find one more. Okay. Yeah. 
I was like a little bit to the right. Um, 
most of that to 50, well, not part 20 of that $50 is the NES Online, SS, SS, SNES Online, um, and, you know, just like the regular online, um, store, and the, the expansion pack is only, well, Also, I am completely defenseless in this form. Um, you are, say, so if you're an American, you're, it's an extra thirty dollars, I believe, it is um, to upgrade from the regular Nintendo Online to expand pack. So, but then you, even then, if you wanted to make the argument, oh well, I'm paying an extra thirty dollars for it. So, um, found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Alright. Um, that's not even entirely true on its own. Because uh, you also get thing, uh, um, the uh, Sega. I think, was it Genesis? Well, I think Genesis is the driver of the Sega system, but. Um, yeah, you get. You also get the Sega games as well, which, while yes, that granted most of them are available elsewhere, in, um, like Sega collections and stuff. Um, it, if you don't have it, then you know, you, uh, well, you it, it's part of the same thing. You are paying for it. Um, Stop you from taking the notes out of the world, but if you get the 100 you just collect it one counts as your best notes store, try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open those doors. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want Um, we can move back. Came back with the third. Imagine walking on the But, um, then you also have the fact that you have the, um, uh, the more. He's basically the same as stores, locked in the house, and you have to collect him right now, so check it off. Anyway, um... And, the, um, you also have the fact that there is the animal, that to, if you have animal crossing, uh, um, I forgot what it's called, but the new Animal Crossing game, uh, you also get the DLC for free if you have the expansion pass, which you also have to, um, factor into the value, and it, um, here's something that you uh, have to remember, uh, if you, if you're just like, oh, why couldn't they just add this into the normal, uh, add the Nintendo 64 games and everything into the normal um, Nintendo 64 games, which has been uh, easy to get past, unfortunately, your first and last. Um, you have to consider Nintendo's point of view here as well as, like, from their point of view, they are putting a you know, bunch of... Uh, um, a bunch of other games in the description you know, and they're just like, well, and they're just seeing how many, you know, NES and SNES games are in there, and it's like, um, and they were probably thinking to themselves, um, 
you know, if the, you know, it's too much value, so, you, yeah, you do also have that, so like, they've got to keep out a reasonable value in their markets to be yes, uh, like shareholders in there, because, honestly, I'm somewhat surprised that they even did do this, it's because, um, in period, because Nintendo 64 games are quite a bit bigger than uh, NES and SNES games, uh, even though there's a lot less of them. There, you know, there's a lot more content uh, there uh, than a, a single N64 game and a uh, single NES or SNES game. So. Um, uh, and then, to be honest, they could have probably like released Paper Mario, uh, Majora's Mask, and Banjo Kazooie, or uh, just on the Switch on the eShop, and people would probably still buy them. Uh, probably not for fifty. Uh, probably not for full price, but um, they probably like buy them at like twenty, ten, twenty quid maybe. Two T spaces looking green just because they're the other skin. So, yeah, to be fair, I'm surprised they put uh, N64 games on had the, the expansion pass period. Like, in my opinion, like, um, there is a lot of value here. Um, so even though they are older games, they are still good games, and this is the first time you're really able to play these games on a portable handheld for the most part. Like, you can't play Banjo and Kazooie on any portable devices. You can't play. Uh, we could play with Joe's Mask and Ocarina of Time because um, they got like remakes on the 3DS, but you know, they weren't on the Switch. Um, um, who's gonna go back to the 3DS? Nowadays, like. Like, oh, this is the 3DS. I'm not, not to do it with this, but it was a good system. The screen really puts people off going back to play, so I'm willing to bet that people would rather pay uh, 15 or 20 quid to play Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time on the Switch, even if it's the original N64 version, rather than going back to the um, 3DS and playing the um, updated version. And yeah, so basically, I think people, a lot of people, who have a bottom line, so they're just like, oh, it's, it's costing me $50 to play N64, uh, some N64 games, when that's not really true. You're paying twenty for the um, online stuff. Anyway, then you and then that's another thirty for three DLC, which they might they might even even if you don't play them more costly, they might start adding more DLC. I do. Um, hopefully, do because yeah, that was a really good idea in my opinion. Um, and that you're also paying for the Sega games, which is it. Uh, boy, there, this be Treasure Trove Code. Who's for you? Who knows? Peen a peen. I want to be in the street help. Um Yeah, I 
will definitely love, like, I doubt they'll do this because of the game itself, but I do hope they get the original version of Pontus Bad Fair Day because um, the Nintendo 64 version of the game is actually superior, in my opinion, to the uh, 360 Online version because um, in the 360 Online version um, they censored it. So if they brought over the original uncensored Mangus uh, Pad Fair Day to Nintendo 64 Online, I in my opinion that would just be the definitive way to play Mangus Pad Fair Day. But again, that's all hinging on the fact that they had to be actually uncensored. Which, I don't know if Nintendo would do. Um, but I am also excited for like um, all the games that come to the uh, online like, service. Like there's also um, and uh, Rare, because Rare sort of made the game, but they, they used a Nintendo character. So, we're If I remember correctly, it is just... Just talk about like some of the problems that people have been facing with the uh, N64 uh, emulation on the Nintendo Switch uh, online for the Splinter Pass. Um, like, one of them was Framerate issues, but I believe the Framerate was actually similar, if not the same, to the actual Framerate of the original Nintendo 64 game. I think people will appreciate because you know, it uh, would make it a bit less jarring going from uh, the Nintendo 64 game to the Nintendo 64 online game, which uh, would then have high frame rate. Because obviously, um, if they just straight up put the original bonds uh, on here. like a bit more, and um, they actually decreased the fog, um, which you know, made it made the game load more. It's still a little bit of a problem now though. But I've not really experienced any frame rate issues while playing this, and this honestly does feel nearly indistinguishable. 
to get corrupted um so uh because i think there's like a glitch with just like the emulator that if it closes un unexpectedly or something like that then you lose your save data but you keep your suspend suspend points so um if you're playing any games uh on here Always create suspend points so you can just like come back to it later, uh, reliably. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what, um, you know, if you're watching this app, uh, after the live stream, let me know what you think of uh, Banjo and Kazooie in the, in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, you going up or are you um, checking it out for the first time or something? Okay, so I might want to do first play it on uh, the replay. Um, I, I think I 100%ed it for the first time on the replay. Well, I don't know, I know that I 100%ed it the first time on the replay. Uh, and, um, yeah, pretty much the rare replay is the only reason why I have an Xbox. Uh, I did not know that could happen. Anyway, um, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this live stream. I hope to see you guys in the next live stream. Um, and 